Eight English grammar mistakes that even advanced students make from EspressoEnglish.net. Sometimes your English could be ninety percent fine, but there are still some small errors. They don't affect communication, but of course we want to correct them. Today I'll teach you eight common English grammar mistakes with examples from real students of mine. Remember, if you want to get your mistakes corrected by me, check out my Advanced English Grammar course. Click on the link in the top right corner of this video or in the description for more information. Don't say, I wore a jeans. The correct way to say it is, I wore jeans or I wore a pair of jeans. The nouns jeans pants, shorts, scissors, and glasses are special. Although each word refers to one singular item, we can't use a with these words. Instead, you can use no article or a pair of. For example, she's wearing glasses. I bought a pair of shorts at the mall. There's a pair of scissors on my desk. If you want to refer to more than one item, use two, three, four, etc. Pairs of pants, shorts, glasses, scissors, and so on. For example, I have two pairs of white pants. Let's look at the next mistake. Don't say, he loves team sports as soccer. The correct way is, he loves team sports such as soccer, or he loves team sports like soccer. When you want to give an example, use such as or like. Don't use only as to introduce an example. Such as is considered more formal than like. Mistake number three. Don't say I didn't save money enough. The correct sentence is, I didn't save enough money. The word enough comes before a noun, but after an adjective. For example, we have enough food. Food is a noun, so enough comes before it. It's the same with the word money. Money is also a noun, so we use enough before the noun. It's the opposite with adjectives. For example, you're not tall enough to go on the ride. Tall is an adjective, a word that describes a noun. So we use the word enough after the adjective. Tall enough. Mistake number four. Don't say, I worked a lot in last month. And don't say, we'll meet on next Monday. The correct way to say it is, I worked a lot last month. We'll meet next Monday. We normally use in with months and on with days. However, when you use the words last and next, you don't need in or on. You can simply say last month and next Monday without an extra preposition. Here's the next one. Don't say, it was so long time ago. The correct ways to say it are, it was so long ago, or it was such a long time ago. Use so plus an adjective or an adverb, and use such plus an adjective plus a noun. Here are some examples of how to use the word so plus an adjective or an adverb. You can say, she's so friendly. Friendly is an adjective. This sandwich is so good. Good is another adjective. He works so hard. Hard is an adverb describing the verb works. However, if the adjective is followed by a noun, then we need to use such a instead of so. Here are some examples of such a plus an adjective plus a noun. You can say, 
She's such a friendly person. In this case, we have the noun person at the end, so we need to use such a instead of so. You can say, this is such a good sandwich, and he has such a demanding job. One exception is when the noun is plural. In this case, use only such, not a. For example, they are such friendly people. People is plural, so we use only such, not such a. These are such good cookies. Here's a common mistake with the word lend and give. Don't say, I lent to him some money. The correct ways to say it are, I lent him some money, or I lent some money to him. This rule applies to lend, give, and other verbs that have both a direct object and an indirect object. You can use one of two structures. You can have the verb plus the indirect object plus the direct object. That would be, I lent him some money. Or, if you want to put the direct object first, then you would say verb, direct object, plus to, and then the indirect object. For example, I lent some money to him. Here's another example. You can say, he gave Rachel the keys or he gave the keys to Rachel. Both are correct, but it does not sound natural to say he gave to Rachel the keys. That's incorrect. Let's move on. Don't say roller coasters make me to feel sick. The correct sentence is roller coasters make me feel sick. Let, make, and have are causative verbs. They are followed by the indirect object and then the base form of the next verb without to. Here are some more examples. Our boss doesn't let us leave work early. Don't say let us to leave. The correct structure is let us leave. My mom makes me clean my room. I'll have my assistant call you later today. In the case of the verb help, we can use to or not, but it's more common not to do so. So you can say, please help me carry these boxes, or please help me to carry these boxes. But it's more common to just say, please help me carry, without the word to. Okay, our last mistake. Don't say, you stopped me make a mistake. The correct way is, you stopped me from making a mistake. The words stop and prevent are followed by someone or something, and then the word from, and finally the verb in the ing form. Here are some more examples. The vaccine stops people from catching the disease. The waterproof covering prevents the equipment from getting wet. If you want to make sure that your written English is completely correct, then you would benefit from my Advanced English Grammar course. It has 45 lessons that cover many aspects of English grammar in depth, with plenty of examples. And it also includes writing tasks where you can send me your writing for correction and feedback. Click on the link in the video or in the description for more information and to sign up.